East after word of that shooting started getting out. Many of them just upset that this is happening again at their school. Students and staff deserve to be safe at school. This is not the case here at East High School. And our Jasmine Arenas live outside East High School right now. Jasmine, you were there all morning and you heard that frustration. Yes, and it's very sad to know that some students are feeling desensitized. Others are at their breaking point and parents felt felt the exact same way. Take a look at an emotional scene near East High School as parents waited to pick up their kids earlier today. Students saying crying, parents demanding to be heard. This happening just a month after a student was shot just outside of East High School and parents demand action and so do students uh, through gun violence summits and rallies and they feel none of that has been taken seriously or that officials have acted fast on making any changes happen. See how parents and students express themselves demanding something gets done rather soon sooner than later earlier today. We need better protection. How many parents should cry? How many people should die? How many people should get hurt before y'all listen to us? They check our IDs when we get in the school, but there's still been plenty of times where random people are in our school. So I don't know how that helps at all. I just feel like we shouldn't have to experience this. Um, we just had a classmate get killed. Another student got shot in the head last semester, and it's just a lot that goes on. Now, this just comes three weeks after students walked out of East High School demanding action for uh, gun violence safety protocols to be in place. Now, East students demand are planning for another rally on April 29th. It'll be around 10 a.m., and more details will become available. We'll have all that on our website. In Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. Jasmine, thank you.